Police reports describe the incident that unfolded Saturday at the Bloomfield Home Depot. Employees from Saba Live Poultry tracked down a runaway cow, cornering it by the loading dock. Bloomfield officer Brandon Donahue was on scene. He saw one man try to shoot a bow and arrow at the cow but missed. He then described what happened next. Three of the employees grabbed onto the cow, and while I believe they were going to restrain it with a rope or another tethering device, one employee pulled out a knife and proceeded to cut the cow's throat. All of this played out in front of shocked onlookers, including a male teenager who was quoted as saying, I can't believe I just saw that. Police body cam footage showed the moments after it all played out. Officer Donahir can be heard issuing a ticket to Badar Musad. I'm going to have to issue a ticket for creating public disturbance because you're doing this thing out here with people. Donahir notes in his police report that Musad and other employees did not appear to be remorseful and appeared to think the incident was amusing. Who's the guy with the, the bow and arrow? Which one? The bow and arrow? Who's that? That's uh, my work. I work in... Uh... Okay, he can't do that either. The lawyer for Saba Live Poetry, Tark Audi, tells me his clients felt it was best course of action in order to prevent more damage or harm to others. Following the incident, the state of Connecticut Department of Agriculture began an investigation into Saba Live Poultry and issued a cease and desist order. They conclude that Saba Live Poultry improperly confined and cared for livestock and rabbits saying they failed to supply such animals with wholesome air, food, and water. The Department of Agriculture also concluded the live poultry were not kept in sanitary condition. They noted during their investigation that they found approximately 2,000 poultry, 30 rabbits, 3 sheep, and 3 goats at the facility. They also turned away a shipment of about 100 goats and calves being delivered to the facility.